everyone, welcome to our newest All About You and most importantly, welcome to 2016. 2016, Can Martin. you believe the year is here? We here? Are. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe, I have to admit, 2015 flew by so quickly. I mm -hmm. didn't even see it go. I'm just so excited that we're here now and we're celebrating 2016. And as you know, Hakel, what happens every January? Well, I think this is already very common. Every month of January, we already start with our resolutions, everything that we are planning to do, our goals. Many people write down, this, this year I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to conquer this, I'm going to stop doing that. Yes, right? yes, <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a, January is normally a month of making plans, right? Uh -huh. People normally make a lot of plans in January and um, I think because the calendar year changes it conditions us to sort of change our mindset but the thing is um, nothing is, is going to change if you keep doing the same things and that's the thing people uh, start begin the year and they have lots of plans but they continue doing the same things that they've used uh, that they've been doing before so no change is going to come mm -hmm. if you continue doing the same thing mm -hmm. which is why we're bringing this new series that we're bringing to you today we're beginning a series called brand yourself right brand yourself make yourself a brand and the reason we're bringing this series is that you need to start doing something about branding yourself if you have plans for the new year and you have um you know projects that you want to achieve the first thing that you need to do is brand yourself now when we think about it what was the reason that brought us to to do this series Hakel? well Mott, as you were saying in the beginning of the year many people start having a lot of plans mm -hmm. but they don't know how to better themselves and we would like to share with you something really interesting we, we were researching and we found out that many people when they graduated in other words, they should be ready mm -hmm. to, to go out and, and, and sell themselves and, and get good jobs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, they don't get there. They don't know how to portray themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to, what they study, they don't know how to apply yeah. in their lives. So they spend years and years investing in a, in a, in a career. They spend mm -hmm. years and years investing in education. But when it's time to take advantage of that education, go into the workforce, and get, get work, they're not able to get work because, now get this, because they're spelling mistakes on their CVs, because the way that they speak does not portray the investment that they, that, that they made in, in their careers. So it doesn't portray the education that they you know, spend time gaining. And that's the reason why we're bringing you this series, because it's important for you to brand yourself. You're not going to sell yourself. Um, uh, let, uh, let's consider um, in more details what branding does. When you, when you have a brand, for example, think of you know, um, Louis Vuitton, or think of a very good brand, um, Giorgio, Giorgio Armani, yeah. I'm not a brand person, so I don't know many of them, Guess all of these brands. Uh -huh. When you think of a, of a brand, it immediately makes you want to run to get it. Mm -hmm. And you know, for example, you can have the same looking jeans. You can have jeans that are stitched by the same people that are made for, in the same country, made in China. Because <laughs> I've seen jeans made in China in branded, in branded shops and it's written made in China, hello. So you can have that, but because you're buying it from a branded, from, from a brand, it, it, you, you kind of are inclined to mm -hmm. buy something that has a brand than a no name, you feel, right? You feel more confident. Sometimes yeah. you, you are ready to pay double Yes. Pay more, yes. but because you have that confidence, no, this yes. brand is really good, I can trust it. Yes. And you go and you pay for it. Yes, and we see that many times people fail to do that for themselves. They fail to sell themselves. They fail to brand themselves, to make themselves people who are, you know, who, who others can be drawn to, right? You fail to, to um, portray themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Right away. <laughs> you fail. You fail to to make a statement, Hakel. Uh -huh. You fail to um, to bring to the table who you are. Mm -hmm. It's pe so people kind of. I mean, there's a mismatch between you. You're someone who's educated, but when people 
look at you, when people listen to you, when people, um, you know, kind of pay attention to you, that message doesn't come across. Who you are doesn't come across. And branding doesn't happen by chance, right? Mm -hmm. Branding happens with a lot of work. That's it. It's not only, you know, you saying, for example, um, I am a, a lawyer, mm -hmm. I am a solicitor. If your behavior, if the way you speak, if the way you write doesn't match mm -hmm. with your education, with what you study. So it's not only going to uni, it's not only having a good CV. Mm -hmm. You need to have all those things that during this series we're going to be talking about. And I'm yes. sure it's going to make a lot of difference even for those who made plans yes. for this year. And so they're going to start in the right way. Actually, their plans that they make depend on how they burn themselves. So mm -hmm. they can have a lot of plans, but if the way that they portray themselves does not match the, the plans that they have, if you have big plans, but you don't do the work in, in terms of how you come across, mm -hmm. those plans are likely going to slip through your finger. And we're going to go for a break, to a break shortly, but when we come from a break, we're going to show you the importance of a brand. Why is it important to brand yourself? What, what does it bring? What advantage does it bring to you when you brand yourself? So stay tuned. After the break, we'll be sharing with you the importance of branding yourself. So we're back and today we're discussing branding yourself, right? And we want to look now at the reasons why it is important to brand yourself. So what is it that you, what is it that you um, achieve when you brand yourself? And we're going to look at common brands. When you have a, a common brand, um, things that are branded, for example, when you know that this, you know, this bag is from Louis Vuitton or this nail polish is from Revlon or whatever, you, you tend to buy it more. So a brand sells right a branded product sells more than an unnamed product and so that's what that's that's why it's important for you to do the same when you brand yourself you sell yourself when you make yourself a brand you're able to expose yourself to more people and more people are able to buy you more people are able uh, are able to admire you and be attracted to you for example uh, let's say you're a model right so when you're a model, you, your brand is what? Is being someone fashionable, is being someone who is um, current, upmarket. So if you are a model and you're going for a go-see, for example, mm -hmm. and you show up at, um, you know, at the company dressed in trainers and dressed in um, sweatpants, mm -hmm. they're not likely going to buy you <laughs> because your brand, your, the message that your brand is bringing is not what they're looking for. Uh -huh. So you, you are selling something that they're not looking for. So if you want to find work as a model, you have to sell yourself as someone who's trendy, you have to sell yourself as someone who is fashionable, right? Because why, why does brand brings, you know, makes, uh, it sells so much? Because it, it gives what people is looking for. Yeah. If they see, for example, Louis Vuitton, as you were saying, the beautiful bags, people are looking for quality, something yeah. that are always in fashion. Yeah. So when they go there, they know that they will find what they need. Yeah. So that's why maybe they see two shops, mm -hmm. but when they read one label there, Louis Vuitton, the other one is, we don't know what is that. So yeah. you quickly 
you're not gonna maybe try to go inside and but let me see mm -hmm. oh but there is nothing nice here on the display let me go inside usually you already give up there and you go to the one you know exactly because you uh, because you have which is our next important uh -huh. um, uh, part about our brand you have trust in that brand uh -huh. so a brand brings trust right when you when you see a brand that you you know that many people have been exposed to that brand instills trust so when you are someone who knows what you want to sell and you go you go for it for example you you make yourself um, relevant to what you're trying to sell you will still trust when you go for example to an, to an interview and you walk into the room and you've dressed the part you you you've you, you've um you speak the part you think the part you act the part people are going to trust you mm -hmm. so employers are going to look at you and think wow i can buy her because mm -hmm. i trust that she's going to do the job that i want done in a in a, in a good way because the person can pass this confidence Marty. Mm -hmm. you know sometimes when you go and the person is very insecure you go to an interview and the person is very insecure mm -hmm. they might have very good qualities but that insecurity the way they are passing their brand is not yeah. selling yeah. people will not trust that you know we can hand this kind of work to her and she will deliver it yeah people will tend to to kind of uh, think this brand is a no name it's not a defined brand right mm -hmm. and I think that's another important thing about brands they bring definition so mm -hmm. if you don't if you yourself don't know what you are, what you want to sell, how are other people going to, to kind of look at you and, and build that trust? There's no definition. So for you to be able to instill that trust, you first need to define your brand. Mm -hmm. Who are you? What are you selling? What is it that you want people to, to, to get from you? So that's what you need to think about. When you make your resolutions now, think about the brand that you want to achieve. Think about who you want to be. Who do you want to come across as? Do you want to come across as someone who is creative, funny? So you're not gonna come across as someone who's creative and funny in a business suit. That's not gonna happen. When you dress a business suit, you are portraying a message of intellectual. You're, you're, you're saying that, you know, a business suit, uh, 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 what do women wear? Because business suit is for men, we're talking to women. <laughs> well, they would wear a dress. Yeah, exactly. So in corporate wear, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna, if you're a woman, you're not gonna be set be selling a message of creativity dressed in corporate wear it's not gonna happen so if you're an artist and you're going for example to a gallery to to sell your 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 art and you walk in as a corporate guy um, that that's a mismatch in your brand so the first thing that you need to do in order for other people to trust you is for you first to define your brand in mm -hmm. a proper way you have to understand what is the message that you're trying to bring and then you have to shape yourself shape how you speak how you dress everything shape yourself based on that brand and it's gonna take us to to the next step right the third step which is uniqueness mm -hmm. when the person um, knows how to sell herself she becomes unique yes you know why you were speaking I remember once my brother traveled abroad he was in a different country and he said you know mom I just went to that famous fast food and I ate and my mom was thinking wow but you know yeah. you could try so many other things yeah. but he said no but I know that there I will find this yeah. I know that there I can just ask for that so yeah. it's unique mm -hmm. only there you're gonna find these things yeah. so it's the same when the person knows how to sell himself or yeah. herself she will be unique yeah you see Hakel that um, in in many in many brands we have we may have brands different brands that sell the same thing right uh -huh. you have for, I'm gonna go for a completely new new thing now let's let's take technology technology for example you have Apple you have Samsung I'm speaking like this because of my husband <laughs> he's the one who's a technology geek so you have all these different brands in technology they they offer the same thing they all they all offer mobile phones mm -hmm. but one has a unique feature that they other one doesn't have yeah. right until the next one copies them so you find yeah. Apple comes Apple comes and says I'm gonna give uh, create an Apple watch that's going to be a cell phone and it's going to be all different things in a watch and then and then people 
go flying to that uh -huh. because it's unique, it's something new. Mm -hmm. And that's what you need to think about as well. That's what our viewers need to think about as well when they brand themselves. So don't um, just focus on what everybody is doing. Think about what is unique about you. Because within within your brand, within your, your, um, your area of work, within you, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, there's something that you have that nobody else has. And you need to understand that. So and you need to more. understand, yeah, just a minute. Yeah. You, sorry, hi, Kel. You need to understand, for example, I'm, I'm a creative, but I'm a funny creative. So I bring humor to my creativity. So there's something that is unique about you that you need to understand and start bringing across in your branding. Sorry, hi, Kel. And as we are saying, what this is something that it doesn't come with you. You were born like that. Mm -hmm. This is something that all of us needs to develop. Mm -hmm. So maybe you are a shy person. It doesn't mean you can you you you, you remain shy. Mm -hmm. You can become bold. Mm -hmm. So this series is gonna bring tips and ideas that is not for someone who's born like that. It's for someone who wants to improve and they will add these things into their lives. You're quite right, Hakel. You know, something that is common about brands, they may be good, but they still need to, to be marketed, right? Uh -huh. So you, 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 even though a brand is good, there's still adverts that bring the message of that brand across, which means uh, nobody just buys out of chance. Nobody, uh -huh. it, 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 a brand is not just born good uh -huh. it, there's work done to make that brand, brand credible e exactly to build it so you need to start there you need to start marketing yourself it's not going to happen just um out of the blue wake up one day i'm a brand uh, you can buy me it's <laughs> going to happen when you start thinking creatively when you start thinking um intelligently and you start marketing yourself in a proper way and we're going to be providing you tips like you said all throughout this month of january so stay tuned we're gonna end today's program it's it's gone by so quickly <laughs> we've come to the end time is flashing away we've actually extended our time uh, but stay tuned in january we're going to be showing you specific tips maybe you're wondering okay i i, I buy this idea i want to start branding myself but where do i start well, that's where we come in. We're going to be sharing with you in the next few weeks tips of how you can actually make yourself a credible and viable brand where people will just want to grab you wherever you go, right? <laughs> so that's it for today. Time to go enjoy your time with your family. Enjoy the new year. <laughs> and soon you'll be going back to work and start thinking about branding yourself. So that's it for today. Bye-bye.